I didn't know you were an artist. There's quite a lot about me you don't know. Malmadora is League of Legends' newest champion. Usually I'd leave that bit of information for the end of the video, but we've got a lot of evidence to go through in a short amount of time. Now I've made a bold claim here and the best way to justify my theory is to just take a look at the characters in Arcane who are already champions in League. We've got Vi, Jinx, Echo, Jace, Victor, Caitlyn, Heimerdinger and Singed. Now there's a popular theory going around that Vanda is actually Warwick and Timo did show up as an Easter egg in a book, but we won't be focusing on these last two. A strong similarity that all of these characters who are champions had in the series is that we got a view into their past. Most of them as children, whereas Singed was already an adult, and Hymer's flashbacks don't have a lot of context due to him actively suppressing his memories about magic. Mel is another character, apart from Silco, who received one of these flashbacks, much like Caitlyn, Vi, Jinx, Echo, Chase, and Victor. Now, I could end this video right here, just based on the fact that Riot felt the need to contextualize Mel's past for their viewers. Usually, you don't invest that much in a character who doesn't yield any present or future benefits for you, especially if you're Riot Games and to a certain degree are financially reliant on releasing likable characters for your audience. If she was simply a character designed to bring a King's Landing political feel to the series, adding her past wouldn't be that necessary, as animating anything is expensive and time consuming. Oh, and when I say King's Landing, I mean it. The way she manipulated Jace into politically assassinating Heimerdinger without getting her own hands dirty, that gave me Game of Thrones Season 3 vibes. Heimer got violated. He got red weddinged. The flashback to Mel's past is also pretty stacked. Her mother says that if Mel is to survive, she needs to not only be the fox, but to also take up some of the traits of the wolf as well. This is a direct reference to the fact that Noxians embrace the wolf aspect over the lamb aspect of the kindred. Another thing to notice here is Mel's outfit shares a strong resemblance with Leona's emblem, or at least the emblem of the Solari. The League of Legends wiki has this paragraph about her actually being a Solari in the scene, as her mother attempts to instill her with the art of war. Her being a Solari or even a Shuriman makes a lot of sense if you look at her character design and also the general manner in which she's presented in Arcane. There are a lot of scenes with her backlit and a lot of scenes where she almost appears to be radiating light. The Chancellor's room in which she has the most influence is usually filled with sunlight or the beams of light that the Chancellors use to vote. Usually, if Mel's working her political magic, there will be some sort of powerful light source in the room hinting at her manipulation. Jace's progress day speech is a great example of this, where he's almost being judged by the lights around him. To further drag out this point, think about whenever Mel's mother is around or even referenced. There's even more light in those scenes. It seems to be a running theme for the Madardas and will probably carry on into season 2 when we get one. Speaking of which, the cliffhanger at the end of season 1 is the strongest piece of evidence that Mel does actually have some sort of champion-like ability and will be in League of Legends pretty soon. There is nothing in the room at the time which would justify the amount of light radiating from her gold armor. She also seems to notice the mega death rocket before anyone else in the room and is proactively responding to it. Another thing that Mel has in common with the other champions in the series is that Riot hinted at her possible abilities in Arcane. Now all of the champions in the series have some sort of reference to their in-game powers, be it Caitlyn's shooting, Victor's robotic laser arm, or the scene with Echo fighting Jinx on the bridge, which is essentially one huge chrono break. I actually did a video on that scene too, you guys should check that out. Anyway, Mel has a talent for painting. This is highlighted a lot, particularly with knives. If you pay attention, you'll notice that her using blades to cut people up is hinted at a few times. My favorite one of these clues that Riot left behind is the scene where she spills the wine on this dude's shirt and it kind of looks like blood. Although a character design currently screams of a support or a mage role, kind of like Karma or Janna, I do think Mal in League could be more of an assassin or a fighter. As a half Solari, half Noxian, it would be interesting to see what kind of abilities she has and what kind of kit Riot decides to give her 
Definitely some abilities with the reference to painting though and definitely another ability with the reference to light. Anyway, before this video drags on too long, that's why I feel strong about the theory that Mal is going to be a champ in League of Legends pretty soon. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any other evidence to either support or debunk this theory. And if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. That would be cool. Bye.